For the Sicilian ricotta pie, I have to start with the pastry, which is the crust. I'm going to use my food processor, and in it I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, and here I have three tablespoons of caster sugar. Caster sugar is just extremely fine sugar for pastry baking, it's used a lot. You can buy it in the store or online, or you can just take your regular sugar and you can put it in your food processor and just really give it a good whirl for a few times and it'll become more fine. But it's not that expensive, so. So I'm going to just give it a few puzzles just to mix it up. And then to that, I'm gonna add one half cup, which is one stick of cold butter, which I have cut into little cubes. I'm just going to put that in there. And I'm going to pulse it a few times until it gets kind of lumpy. That's it. Now, to that, I'm going to add one egg yolk. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla because I think vanilla just makes everything taste a little better. Maybe a teaspoon and a quarter. And I'm going to need some water as well. So I have some cold water here. I'm going to start off with one tablespoon. You might need two or three. This is an older food processor. I've had this baby for over 25 years and she still works for me very, very well. But she does have her little burps every once in a while, like she'll stop in the middle, but she'll start again. So anyway, I'm going to take it out, just dump it out on my board, get rid of that. And now I'm just going to form it into a disc, get some of those dry pieces in there. And we're going to wrap this in plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. You can put it in the refrigerator for about 15, 20 minutes, up to a half an hour. Um, or you can put it in the freezer for five to 10 minutes before you start rolling it out. This is, this is not gonna be the kind of dough you can roll out and easily just pick up and put in the pan. It's gonna break and fall apart. You're gonna have to do a lot of patching, but it makes a very tender pastry. So I'm gonna put it in my plastic wrap. Give myself a head start, pushing it down, making it into a flatter disc. Okay, so into the refrigerator or the freezer, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to roll it out. The dough's been in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes or more. I don't like it to get too hard. It's, like I said, this thing is kind of delicate and it's probably gonna fall apart when I try putting it in there, but we'll patch it and it'll work out just fine. We're going to put it into an eight inch tart pan with a removable bottom. If you don't have one of these, get one. <laughs> really, they're not that expensive and um, you'll use it for a lot of things. But truly, if you don't have one of these, Make this in a regular pie plate. Just fill it in the pie. You just won't remove it. It'll just cut like a pie later on. So you can make this even without the special equipment. So let's put a little bit of flour. And undo this. Goes in my trash. And here we go. see how it's all cracking around the edges. Like I said, it's a very delicate kind of a tart shell, but it's a good tart shell. And keep 
turning it to try to keep it as round as possible. This pie is, I, I love cheesecakes in any way, shape, or form. Uh, this is not sweet. It's a, it's a very delicious cheesecake. Okay, that's about it. Yeah, that'll work. Another essential tool for baking and these are very inexpensive. It's a bench scraper. So now I'm going to do my best to get this into the pan without destroying it. Okay. And just ease it down. Let the weight of the pastry pull itself down into the pan. When we finish filling this pan, we're going to take this shell and we're going to put it in the freezer for about an hour. You want it to be really super cold before we blind bake it. And I'll show you a cool way to blind bake. Now I've just brushed off the sides and I'm gonna grab a hunk of this into a ball. Now use this to push your pie dough into the, into the ridges. See that? You're going to stick your fingers in there and if you've got fingernails it's going to start ripping the pastry. There. Now, with a fork, I'm going to dock it. This will keep the pastry when you put it in the hot oven later from mounding. Even though we're going to have beans in there, we're going to bake it with the beans and then for a few minutes without. So now, this goes into the freezer until it freezes solid it's for about, little spot there, for about one hour. And then we'll come back. I'll show you how to blind bake it, how to make the filling, and we'll go from there. Here's our shell out of the freezer. It's nice and cold. And now we need to blind bake it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some plastic wrap, believe it or not, in this case. I'm putting in three layers of plastic wrap simply because the plastic wrap is kind of flimsy. It doesn't have a lot of weight to it. Watch, I'm going to have a hard time here now. I love plastic wrap, but it's so clingy. Okay. And then a third piece. I mean, you're probably saying, she's going to put plastic wrap in the oven? Yeah, I am. You can do that. It won't melt or burn. Um, these are dried garbanzo beans, which I have used many times over and over in my pies. They're still pretty good. At some point, they'll become bad, and I'll go get new ones, but they're a cheap pie weight. So we're going to fill that up and push them to the ends. That's where you want them the most, up the sides. And then just bring these in. So this part's exposed. And my oven, like I said, is on 400 degrees. I'm going to put it in there for five minutes at 400, turn it down to 350, and leave it in for probably oh, another 15 minutes. I'm going to put it on this tray because otherwise I pick it up and I push the bottom out because it's a removable bottom. So I'll be back when this is done. Here is the shell out of the oven. It's still very, very warm. It's not fully baked, but it's set. 
we're gonna put it back in the oven after we fill it. So it's got some more baking to do. So I'm gonna put this off to the side while we make the filling. So in my mixer bowl here, I'm gonna put two cups of ricotta cheese. Yummy. I'm gonna put in one half teaspoon of vanilla. It smells wonderful. We're gonna put in six tablespoons of, is it six or eight? Six tablespoons of castor sugar. It's that very, very fine pastry sugar. And I'm going to zest maybe like half of a lemon and half of an orange. Okay, there's the lemon. Oh, wow, they smell wonderful. Ah, so citrusy, beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in my mixer. I'll get this going. My oven is still on at 375. And I also have here two eggs and one yolk and one half cup of heavy cream. It and give it a scrape down. And now the heavy cream. See how that looks. Looks great. Doesn't matter, we're gonna make a mess anyway. All right, now into the shell. Now into the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Then we'll take it out and we'll have a nice Sicilian ricotta pie. I think I'm going to take it over on this. Here is our finished Sicilian ricotta pie. I took it out of the oven when I, jig when I moved the pan and it just jiggled a, a little bit in the middle. I left it in the pan to cool completely. Then I took the ring off of it and here it is and I put some nice fresh raspberries over it. And the only other thing I might do, maybe put a little dusting, just a light one of confectioner's sugar. Now that's a presentation for a great dessert.